Rising from Ashes, Part 1, The Fall In the heart of the sprawling kingdom of Aranthea stood the majestic city of Eldoria. Known for its towering spires, grand palaces, and bustling markets, it was a hub of prosperity and culture. The citizens of Eldoria reveled in their peaceful lives, blissfully unaware of the impending doom that lurked in the shadows. One fateful day, dark clouds rolled ominously across the sky, blotting out the sun and casting an eerie gloom over the city. A deep rumble resonated through the streets, and the ground trembled beneath the feet of its inhabitants. Panic rippled through the once thriving city as people rushed to the safety of their homes, sensing an impending disaster. A deafening roar filled the air as a massive dragon, its scales as black as midnight, swooped down from the heavens. It unleashed torrents of fire that engulfed Eldoria's beautiful buildings, turning them into mere ash in a matter of seconds. The dragon's ferocious onslaught tore through the streets, leaving destruction and devastation in its wake. The citizens of Eldoria were trapped in a nightmare. Their cherished homes were reduced to rubble, and the once vibrant streets were now a haunting landscape of smoldering ruins. The dragon, seemingly unstoppable, continued its rampage, unleashing its fiery wrath upon everything in its path. Fear and despair gripped the hearts of the people, for it seemed as though their beloved city would be forever lost. Amidst the chaos and destruction, a few brave souls emerged. They refused to succumb to despair and instead chose to fight back against the monstrous intruder. Warriors armed with swords and shields clashed with the dragon, desperately trying to protect what was left of their shattered home. The battle raged on, but it was clear that the dragon was a formidable adversary, its fiery breath melting even the strongest of defenses. As the sun began to set, the dragon finally retreated, its insatiable hunger for destruction momentarily satisfied. Eldoria, once a beacon of prosperity, now lay in ruins. The survivors emerged from their hiding places, surveying the devastation with heavy hearts. They mourned the loss of their homes and the lives that were taken by the dragon's wrath. But even in the face of such despair, a glimmer of hope remained. The survivors vowed to rebuild their beloved city, to rise from the ashes and restore Eldoria to its former glory. With determination in their hearts, they gathered whatever strength they had left and set out on a daunting journey to reclaim their home. And so, with the flames still flickering amidst the ruins, the people of Eldoria began their arduous task. They knew it would be a long and difficult road, but they refused to let the dragon's devastation define them. They would rise from the ashes, united in their shared purpose, and rebuild their once proud city brick by brick until Eldoria would shine once more as a testament to their resilience and unwavering spirit. Part 2 The Darkness Within In the aftermath of Eldoria's devastating fall, a heavy blanket of darkness settled upon the hearts of its survivors. The once vibrant city now lay in ruins, its streets haunted by the echoes of lost lives and shattered dreams. Grief and despair seeped into every corner, intertwining with the ashes of destruction. The survivors, battered and broken, found themselves grappling with a profound sense of loss. The weight of their sorrow threatened to consume them, casting a shadow over their once hopeful spirits. Each day became a painful reminder of what had been taken away from them, a reminder that seemed to grow heavier with every passing moment. Hope became an elusive concept, a distant memory that felt almost foolish to hold on to. Doubt and fear crept in, whispering doubts into the ears of those who dared to dream of rebuilding their beloved city. The darkness that had befallen Eldoria had seeped into the hearts of its people, clouding their vision and stifling their will to carry on. In the quiet corners of the ruined streets, whispers of resentment and blame could be heard. Some questioned why the dragon had chosen their city, why they had been the ones to suffer such a devastating fate. Anger brewed within them, directed at the cruel hand of fate that had stripped away their sense of security and shattered their lives. But amidst the darkness, there were those who refused to surrender to despair. 
They recognized that dwelling on the pain and anger would only deepen the wounds, further fueling the darkness within. These brave souls sought solace in one another's presence, drawing strength from their shared experiences and mutual determination. Together, they embarked on a journey of healing, both individually and as a community. They organized support groups, offering a safe space for grieving and sharing their burdens. They reached out to one another, offering a helping hand or a listening ear, knowing that unity would be their greatest weapon against the encroaching darkness. It was not an easy path. The scars of the past ran deep, and the road to recovery was paved with setbacks and obstacles. But the survivors refused to let the darkness define them. They confronted their fears head-on, embracing their vulnerability and finding resilience in the face of adversity. Through their collective efforts, a flicker of light began to penetrate the darkness. It started small, a glimmer of hope that refused to be extinguished. The survivors rediscovered their inner strength and the power of unity, igniting a flame of determination within their hearts. As the days turned into weeks, and the weeks into months, the darkness gradually began to recede. With each act of kindness, each step forward, the survivors pushed back against the shadows that threatened to consume them. They learned to carry their grief alongside their hope, acknowledging the pain of their losses while refusing to be defined by it. The darkness within had not been vanquished entirely, but the survivors had discovered a new resilience, a newfound light that guided them on their journey of healing and rebuilding. They knew that their path forward would still be challenging, but they were no longer alone. Together, they would face the darkness, determined to emerge stronger and create a future that would shine brighter than ever before. Part 3. A Spark of Resilience In the midst of the lingering darkness, a faint spark of resilience began to flicker within the hearts of Eldoria's survivors. It started as a whisper, a glimmer of hope that refused to be extinguished. Slowly, but steadily, this spark grew brighter, casting a warm glow upon the shattered remnants of the once great city. The people of Eldoria, weary and scarred, realized that their strength lay not only in their individual resolve but in their collective spirit. They came together, forming a bond born out of shared experiences and a shared vision of rebuilding their cherished home. United, they vowed to defy the odds and breathe life back into the ruins. With their minds set on the task at hand, the survivors began to pool their resources, skills, and unwavering determination. They cleared away the debris, salvaging what they could from the wreckage. Each broken stone, each charred plank became a symbol of their resilience, a testament to their refusal to be defeated by the darkness that had befallen them. Guided by a newfound sense of purpose, the people of Eldoria drew upon their individual talents to rebuild their city. Skilled craftsmen and architects joined forces, mapping out plans to resurrect the grand structures that once adorned the streets. Gardeners and horticulturists nurtured new saplings, bringing life back to the barren landscape. But it was not only the physical reconstruction that mattered. The survivors recognized the importance of healing the wounds that lingered within their community. They organized gatherings and ceremonies where stories were shared and memories honored. Laughter and tears intermingled, fostering a sense of unity and camaraderie that pushed the darkness further into the shadows. As the city slowly emerged from the ashes, hope blossomed like wildflowers pushing through cracked pavement. The spark of resilience had ignited a fire within the hearts of the people, propelling them forward with unwavering determination. They refused to be defined solely by the tragedy that had befallen them, instead, they embraced the opportunity for growth and transformation. Together, they established support networks and counseling services to help those still grappling with the trauma. They celebrated small victories and milestones, savoring each step forward on their path to recovery. The city's rebirth became a symbol of their collective strength, inspiring neighboring communities who witnessed the indomitable spirit of Eldoria. The once desolate streets began to resonate with the sounds of laughter, music, 
and bustling activity. Market stalls reappeared, brimming with fresh produce and vibrant textiles. Parks and gardens bloomed with colorful flowers, welcoming visitors to enjoy the beauty that had been resurrected from the ruins. Though the scars of the past remained, they were no longer seen as symbols of despair but as reminders of the resilience and determination that had fueled Eldoria's rebirth. The people embraced their newfound sense of unity and purpose, knowing that they were stronger together than they could ever be alone. The spark of resilience had transformed into an enduring flame, a flame that guided Eldoria's survivors toward a brighter future. It was a testament to the power of the human spirit, demonstrating that even in the face of unimaginable darkness, hope and resilience could prevail. And so, Eldoria rose from the ashes, a phoenix reborn. Its people, forever marked by the trials they had endured, stood tall, their hearts filled with an unbreakable spirit. Their story would be etched into the annals of history, reminding future generations that the power to overcome adversity lies within, waiting to be kindled into a flame of unwavering resilience. Part 4 Rising from Ashes In the wake of devastation, Eldoria began to rise from the ashes, breathing new life into the once desolate streets. The collective efforts and unwavering spirit of its people had transformed the shattered remnants into a testament of resilience and hope. With each passing day, the city's rebirth gathered momentum. Skilled craftsmen meticulously reconstructed the grand structures that once graced the skyline. Architects and engineers worked tirelessly, blending innovation with echoes of the past, creating a harmonious balance between tradition and progress. The parks and gardens, once barren and lifeless, bloomed with vibrant colors. Saplings grew tall, reaching for the sun, while flowers painted the landscape with a tapestry of beauty. Eldoria's streets came alive again with the sounds of laughter, music, and the chatter of merchants as market stalls flourished once more. But the city's transformation was not limited to physical rejuvenation alone. The darkness that had lingered within the hearts of its people continued to recede as the collective spirit of resilience grew stronger. The survivors embraced their scars as symbols of strength, weaving a tapestry of shared experiences that united them in a bond that could never be broken. New bonds were formed, friendships forged in the crucible of adversity. The people of Eldoria leaned on each other, supporting and uplifting one another as they embarked on the journey of rebuilding their lives. They celebrated the triumphs, no matter how small, and offered solace in moments of uncertainty. Together, they rekindled the flickering flame of hope and breathed life into their city. Schools were reopened, nurturing the minds of the next generation. The arts flourished, with artists capturing the spirit of resilience in their paintings, sculptures, and performances. Libraries overflowed with books, offering knowledge and inspiration to all who sought it. Eldoria's revival did not go unnoticed. News of the city's transformation spread far and wide, inspiring other communities facing their own trials and tribulations. Visitors flocked to Eldoria, not only to witness its physical reconstruction but also to witness the indomitable spirit of its people. The city became a beacon of hope, a testament to the triumph of the human spirit over adversity. Leaders from near and far sought counsel from Eldoria's citizens, eager to learn from their experiences and wisdom. The people of Eldoria, humbled by the attention, embraced their role as beacons of resilience, sharing their stories and offering support to those in need. As years passed, Eldoria continued to thrive. The scars of its past remained, a reminder of the strength and fortitude of its people. But the city had been reborn, stronger and more vibrant than ever before. It had become a living testament to the power of unity, compassion, and the unwavering belief that from the ashes of devastation, beauty and strength can rise. The story of Eldoria's journey was etched into the hearts of its people, passed down through generations as a reminder of their shared history. 
It served as a reminder that no matter how great the challenge, the human spirit is capable of remarkable resilience and the ability to create a brighter future. And so, Eldoria stood tall, a living testament to the triumph over adversity. Its people, forever bound by their shared experiences, carried the flame of resilience within their hearts, ensuring that the city's legacy would continue to inspire future generations to rise from the ashes and create a world filled with hope, strength, and unwavering determination.